How you doing everyone? Again, this is Reverend Jess Vogel Song, Touched by God Church. Fine, by the way, and uh, you, you'll find us uh, there. Um, uh, also on Facebook, Touched by God Church World Ministries. And our message for today is one that's called God's Love and Ours. God's Love and Ours. This comes from John 1. No, it's come, it's come from 1 John 4 and 5. All right, 1 John 4 and 5. On denying the Incarnation. Well, friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. Can you tell by watching television that that, that uh, Antichrist, the Antichrist movement, has started? And it started many years ago, but uh, indeed, by watching television, just by looking around you, it is in full force. Uh, Satan is in trouble, so he's trying to uh, he's trying to cause havoc. You children are from God and have overcome them. Because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from the world and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world. And the world listens to them. We are from God and whoever knows God listens to us. But whoever is not from God does not listen to us. This is how we recognize the spirit of the spirit of truth and the spirit of falsehood. God's love is God's love and ours. So, friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love this is how God showed his love among us he sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him this is this is love not that we loved God but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for all, every bit, every tiny bit of our sins. So friends, since God is, is, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and His love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in Him and He in us. He has given us of His Spirit, and we have seen and testified that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love on God's on the love God has has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear 
because fear has to do fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he has given us this command. Anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God and everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commands. In fact, this love for God to keep his command uh, and his commands are not burdensome. For everyone born of God come, uh, overcomes, overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is, who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. He did not come by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit who testifies because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that testify. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. And the three are in agreement. We accept human testimony, but God's testimony is greater because it is the testimony of God, which He has given about His Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God accepts this testimony. Whoever does not believe God has made, has made him out to be a liar because they have not believed the testimony God has given about His Son. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son, the Son of God, does not have life. I say th these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of Him. If you see any brother or sister commit a sin that does not lead to death, you should pray and God will give them life. I refer to those whose sin does not lead to death. There is a sin that leads to death. I am not saying, I am not saying that you should pray about that. All wrongdoing is sin. And there is sin that does not lead to death. We know that anyone born of God does not continue to sin. The one who, has, who was born of God keeps them safe, and the evil one cannot harm them. We know that we are children of God, that the whole world, is under the control of the evil one. We know also that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know Him who is true. And we are in Him who is true by being in His Son, 
Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. All right. So, uh, so children, keep yourselves from idols. Keep yourself from idols. There's a, a idolatry everywhere. You see it everywhere. Keep yourself from that. And you will be with, with God and God be with you. All right, let's stop right there. And a great message uh, directly uh, from the Holy Spirit, as a matter of fact. So, uh, just uh, Reverend Jess Fogel song from Touched by God Church. And uh, we'll talk again next time. Take a look at us uh, as well on, uh, on Facebook, Touched by God Church World Ministry. And um, so God's blessings to you and all of yours too. Amen. And um, we'll talk next time.